What I'm gonna say in this video could be huge for XRP, Chainlink, and HBAR, and how SWIFT could be instrumental in each one's growth. Before we continue, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. In this video, we're breaking down what SWIFT is, how it works, and how its partnerships with blockchain networks like Chainlink, HBAR, Ripple, and Corda are shaping the future of global payments. You've probably seen the headlines. SWIFT is working with Chainlink. There's consistent speculation around Ripple, even Corda, about which platform SWIFT will choose for its next generation settlement infrastructure. Some even suggest that XRP will be the one that they choose for real-time cross-border settlements. But let's unpack how this could actually happen, why no single partner will be able to do it all, and how this multi-layer system could possibly come together. First of all, what is SWIFT? SWIFT isn't just a payment network, it's also a messaging system, a global standard for communication between banks and financial institutions. It uses ISO 222 to enable institutions to exchange payment instructions. Over 11,000 institutions rely on SWIFT to process everything from cross-border payments to security transactions. But again, SWIFT doesn't just move money, it also sends the instructions to do so. Now, while some alternatives have emerged like Russia's system or China's new system, the vast majority of the global financial system still goes through SWIFT. It's a default infrastructure for global finance, but there's also a problem. It's completely and utterly outdated. It's not built for instant settlement, transparency, or even digital assets. And that's exactly why SWIFT is exploring blockchain technology. Let me break down what SWIFT needs to move into the future. First, a settlement layer. Right now, SWIFT needs a way to actually move money instantly across borders. Second, smart contracts. These are automated rules that trigger payments when certain conditions are met. Third, liquidity. There must always be money available to move so payments can happen in real time without delays. Fourth, compliance tools. SWIFT needs built-in systems that follow global rules, like verifying who is sending and receiving money. Fifth, privacy. Banks need secure systems that keep sensitive financial data protected and confidential. Sixth, price data feeds. SWIFT needs access to live market information like currency values to support accurate and timely transactions. And finally, interoperability. All parts of the system must be able to communicate with each other and share data across different platforms. These are the key building blocks SWIFT needs to create a faster, smarter, and more secure global payment system. Now, let's look at the key players in this conversation. RippleNet is the most obvious choice. It's already designed to handle both the messaging and the settlement part that the SWIFT network already does. XRP acts as a bridge currency to instantly move value across borders. Ripple already has active integrations with banks and financial institutions already, and their system already bypasses the delays of traditional banking. Then there's Corda built by R3. Corda focuses more on institutional grade solutions, is private by default, has strong compliance, and is already in use by central banks and major financial institutions. Now here's where things get exciting for XRP. This is not just a small upgrade to how banks move money. This could be the biggest shift in global finance since the rise of the internet. And XRP is positioned to be right at the center of it. Today, if someone sends money from the United States to the Philippines, it can take several days. Banks have to go through identity checks, currency conversions and messaging back and forth. The system is slow, expensive and outdated. It is like trying to send a text message using a fax machine. That is why Swift is exploring blockchain. They want to move beyond just sending messages about payments. They want to actually settle those payments instantly. And that is exactly what Ripple and XRP were built to do. RippleNet offers both the messaging and the settlement piece in one system. XRP serves as a bridge asset. That means it can move value from one currency to another within seconds. It does not care if the transaction starts in dollars and ends in pesos. XRP handles that instantly and at a fraction of the cost. This is something SWIFT cannot do on its own, but Ripple can. This is why many experts believe SWIFT could rely on XRP for real-time cross-border settlements. Ripple already has a global network of banks and payment providers using its technology. They have tested it, it works, and it is ready. Now, what are SWIFT's options? First, they could go with Corda. Two, which is probably more likely they'll go with Ripple and XRP. Or they could blend both of the systems together. This seems more likely. Build a blended system that leverages strengths from both blockchains. For this to work, Swift needs more than just messaging. First, they need a settlement layer. That's where XRP will come in. XRP will act as Swift's bridge currency. It's fast, cheap, globally accessible, 
SEC lawsuits are almost over, but Corda could also provide a settlement rail, especially for the permissionless environment. Next is smart contract logic, the rules that will govern automation and trigger when a transaction takes place. XRP right now is making huge progress on smart contracts. HBAR already has smart contract functionality and also Corda. Chainlink isn't a smart contract platform, but it does provide data inputs for them. So Swift could possibly pull smart contract capabilities from HBAR and it could lean on XRP for liquidity. Then comes the compliance component, AML, know your customer KYC and other standards that banks have to deal with all the time. Now, Corda has compliance already baked in. That's one of the reasons why it was designed that way. HBAR supports compliance. XRP Ledger is adding features every day to be able to handle the problem of compliance. Now, Chainlink on the other hand doesn't have any compliance tools. Privacy is one of the biggest concerns. Banks won't move sensitive financial data on public blockchains without strong security. Corda has built-in privacy. HBAR offers both public and private data sharing models. Now, XRP privacy will need to be set up on side chains. Now, one thing we're gonna need is price oracles, external market data for asset pricing. Chainlink will dominate this space. It provides the feeds needed for derivatives, securities, banks, loans, settlement logic. XRP has added Oracle support. HBAR can integrate Chainlink feeds as well. Chainlink can help both blockchains bring in price data. Another key layer is interoperability, how these chains will talk to each other. Now, if Swift goes hybrid, uses a blended model of maybe one or two different blockchains, they'll need data to flow between XRP, HBAR, and other blockchains. That's where Chainlink's CCIP comes in. That's where it will shine. It can bridge these networks and move both data and tokens securely. Now, where does this leave us? Every player brings something unique. Ripple offers real-time settlement and liquidity. HBAR brings compliance and smart contract capabilities. Now, Chainlink will provide the data layer that will power everything. Now, all the ones we talked about, Ripple has gained the most traction with institutional investors. Ripple is active in many banks all over the world already. Now, the bottom line is Swift is building the future of finance. They won't be replacing their entire system overnight. You gotta get that out of your mind. But they will be building bridges, literally and figuratively to blockchain networks that can improve speed, reduce costs, and increase transparency. Now, there was even rumors recently that Ripple was in talks to release part of his escrow to help Swift with liquidity. The post was quickly taken down after a supposed hack. They always say that supposed hack, but the narrative isn't going away. Whether it's XRP, HBAR, Chainlink, or whatever blockchain, Swift is moving towards blockchain technology. The world's biggest financial system is gearing up for a digital, decentralized future. The plumbing of finance is being rebuilt right now. And these are the technologies that will be leading that charge. Let me know what you think in the comments. Do you think Swift goes all in on XRP or will it build a multi-blockchain architecture? Either way, the shift will definitely happen. If you like the video, please subscribe to the channel. And if you want me to do a video on another subject, please drop it in the comments. I appreciate you. Have a great day.